and we are live! You already know who it is. My name is Mike Kyle, aka the Fantasy Vulture. I have over a decade worth of fantasy football experience and I have continuously competed for fantasy championships over the course of the past six seasons. Let's make it seven in 2020. But enough of me, I'm here for you. On today's episode of the FB Show, we are going to continue our week three game previews, breaking down to every single week three matchup all through the lens of fantasy football. Up next, the Tennessee Titans versus the Minnesota Vikings. So if you're excited for this game preview be sure to hit that like button down below like an open receiver downfield and also smash that subscribe button like a power running back up the middle so you never miss a video from yours truly and last but not least you can follow yours truly on all social media at ff vulture specifically twitter because that's where i hand out a lot of my great fantasy advice honestly like any thought that happens throughout the week it goes on twitter for your consumption uh, I've been having a lot of fun with the interactions on Twitter as well, just like basic start sit stuff. Uh, but then also just some conversations as far as who am I personally starting, what's my confidence level in certain players this week, just answering a bunch of fantasy football questions over there. But to the content you guys are actually here for, and that is going to be the Tennessee Titans versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, a game that, again, is pretty cut and dry, if I do say so myself. Again, I'm recording uh, a good chunk of these on Friday night, and honestly, I just wanted to get the easy ones out of the way, and then we'll focus on the more uh, the more complicated matchup, should we say, uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning, because that's when you're going to be making those tougher decisions, so I want to have that content available for you then. So, the Titans and the Vikings, again, Self-explanatory, really simple here. You're starting Derrick Henry. You are starting Ryan Tannehill if you have them. Unless you're me and you start Gardner Minshew over Tannehill. Listen, listen. I, I, I felt like I was ready to, to make the jump to Gardner, to Gardner Minshew this week against Miami. And it bit me in the ass. It bit me in the ass, but didn't only, it was not just me. It was also thousands of other people as well. So that does make it a bit comforting. But, and then I was also trying to trade Tannehill throughout the week as well. So I didn't want to have him locked. Uh... I didn't want to have him locked and lose out on Gardner Minshew. I'm sorry, I didn't want to have Minshew locked and not startable just in case I traded uh, Tannehill during the week. So you're starting uh, Tannehill if you have him. Uh, he had 23 points in week one. I'm sorry, uh, 23 points in week two. One, what what do you have? 23 and 20, 23 and 20 or 26 and 23? Or 26, 26 and 20, his average is 23. That's what it was. Excuse me. Um, so you're starting uh, Tannehill if you have him. It's a great matchup against this bad Minnesota secondary. You're going to start Derrick Henry, obviously. The issue with Henry right now is that he just hasn't been able to get it done in the way you would like to see through the first two weeks. He doesn't have a touchdown yet. Um, he has a good amount of rushing yards, all things considered. It was 116 in week one and then only 84 versus Jacksonville. So you, like that's a real bummer. Uh, because that was such a great matchup for him. But when you look at the carry counts, 25 carries and 31, he this is still his offense, and so you have to rely on that volume. Uh, there were people for, in my league inquiring about Derrick Henry and what, and what the price would be. And honestly, I'm not willing to move him at this current moment because I trust the volume and I trust the player um, more than I think, more than the stats currently show. Uh, throughout the first two weeks of the season. The injury news for this game is A.J. Brown is inactive due to a knee injury. Um, I think that this knee injury happened in that Monday night game versus Denver. It was one of the last plays in the fourth quarter as Tennessee is driving uh, down the field in order to win the game. And he just kind of got hit, and he got and he when he uh, when he got tackled, excuse me, his knee hit the ground in a, in a little bit of a funky way. It wasn't anything too serious, it looked like. He got up and was hobbled a bit. Uh, but evidently it was more serious than I, than, uh, a lot of us believed. Uh, he was questionable last week and then he was ruled out this, or I'm sorry, he was questionable and then ruled out last week and then also is going to be ruled out this week. Um, it's a, it's a real bummer. Uh, wait, did, yeah, AJ Brown didn't play last week. Right. He didn't play because we started Jonas Smith instead. That's why. Okay. Listen, listen, well, so, sometimes all these games run together. So Brown is expected to be back next week, but unfortunately he does miss out on such a great matchup versus this Minnesota defense. Uh, you're starting Jonu Smith. If you picked him up, if you have him, he's currently the number one tight end in fantasy. So if you got him, 
play him. Why? Because A.J. Brown's gone. The number one, the number one receiver is down. We just saw what Jonu Smith did as the number one option. Corey Davis, man, yeah, we'll talk about him in just a moment. But I do have a lot of confidence in Jonu Smith. In fact, in fact, one of the things I'm actually currently considering in, in my dynasty league, and in that league specifically, we start two flex. I'm considering flexing Jonu Smith. Uh, it depends on what my matchup currently looks like, but I think there's a world where I do it. I almost considered doing it last week, and that turned out to bite me in the ass because I lost by, I think, 10 or so, and that would have won me the week. Unfortunate, but what can you do? It's not very often that you end up starting two tight ends in your weekly lineup. Uh, so, Tannehill's a full go, Derrick Henry's a full go, Jonu Smith is a full go. Are you starting Corey Davis? The matchup says yes. If you need Corey Davis to, as a spot start for a flex, maybe your maybe your bench is decimated with injuries. Maybe your wide receivers are also struggling as well. Let's say you have Jamison Crowder, Michael Thomas, and Cortland Sutton, and you need a spot start at wide receiver. I think Corey Davis is a pretty good option this week as well. Moving over to the Minnesota Vikings, it's simple, right? It's Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, that's it. Do I, do I need to say more? Kirk Cousins. Hasn't, hasn't shown the ability to get it done, and Cousins is always a bit of a streaky play as well. You never necessarily know when the good games are going to come. Actually, you kind of do. It's when a team is under 500. Uh, so we're not starting Kirk Cousins in this matchup. Also, this, this uh, Tennessee defense is fairly good. So we're not starting Cousins. You can't start Old B.C. Johnson or, Jeff or uh, Justin Jefferson. I almost said Jerry Jefferson. I was thinking of Jerry Judy as I was saying that. Um, you can't start Justin Jefferson or Old B.C. Johnson. The volume just isn't there for those guys quite yet. And then also, again, at the tight ends, Irv Smith Jr. and Kyle Rudolph. What, what, what are we doing? Why am I even bringing them up? Nobody's rostering them at this point in the season. So that's going to do it for my Tennessee Titans versus Minnesota Vikings game preview. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. I'm a, I almost messed it up. I went like and then subscribe because I always smash the subscribe button like a power running back up the middle. It's, uh, it's getting late. I need to go to bed soon. So thank you so much for watching. You can also follow me on all social media platforms at FF Vulture. And remember, people come and go. But fantasy championships are forever. I will see you in the next video.